The project Vortex 2 was one of the largest uh, field campaigns studying tornadoes. So in 2009 and 2010, over 150 scientists, uh, crew, uh, graduate students, any sort of people that really had some great interest in the science of weather were out studying what supercells make tornadoes, what storms don't, um, what processes lead up to intensifying, what processes lead up to demise. Uh, so we're studying anything you could think about related to tornadoes with a whole fleet of different types of instruments, radars, mobile mesonets, stick nets, UAVs, sounding systems, um, kind of throwing the whole kitchen sink at these supercell thunderstorms. Myself specifically, I'm looking at the tornado genesis of uh, a tornado that occurred in June 5th, uh, 2009 up in Goshen County, Wyoming. Um, so I'm looking at some of the processes that lead up to that and I'm learning that a lot of what we're seeing in these high resolution observations and these integrated observations really are stuff we've seen in the past in other types of observations, um, although not integrated. So right now we're just trying to put all these pieces together and see how it comes together um, as a whole as, as opposed to looking at it piecemeal. I'm, well, the g -Wiz thing really is the amount of data and the amount of information that we actually have. I know that doesn't relate to what's going on in the science, but it will eventually. Um, and that's actually very impressive because I looked at a lot of this data and it's not been as high resolution or it's not been for a long period of time um, or missing observations here or here or here. So really I'm impressed with having all this information and trying to figure out how these pieces fit together and how these um, move forward our understanding of the tornado genesis process. <laughs> <laughs>